as I mentioned yesterday, this is a month uh, called Cheshvan in the Hebrew month, and this is a time when the flood global judgment is remembered. It is no coincidence that we're seeing great judgment in the world, and you can uh, believe, as usual, that when things are happening on a grand scale, they're happening on a small scale. Just like when you see things happening on a small scale and mass, they're happening also on a grand scale. And there are many people experiencing judgment in this hour. And we're reminded of the prodigal son who at one time was having a great time uh, spending his family's inheritance and, you know, out with whoever he was out with. And then finds himself one day broken and, and quite literally in a pig pen. Uh, not just that, but he was very much desiring the food of the pigs. Because what happens is when you reject God's voice, when you reject sound judgment over and over and over again, you will be left with a reprobate, which is like an animalistic mind. And so now many people find themselves uh, in the midst of judgment and are feeling uh, desperate. They are feeling completely broken, angry, confused, bewildered. You know, I, I am experiencing this in, in the spirit and I'm looking around myself, you know, uh, as I was saying last night and uh, I was completely bewildered because I'm like, I know this is not uh, about me, you know, but these are, this is what's happening to many in the spirit at this time where you've ignored God's voice for so long, where you have completely uh, squandered what he's given you and and truly negated his call on your life you know and because of this you find yourself in the proverbial pig pen wherever you are is not where you want to be it's not what you thought it was going to be i should have listened i should have hearkened to the voice of the lord if i just hadn't done this if i just hadn't done that and these are you know, these are terrible feelings to feel but the good news is that you still have time to repent and turn to the Lord. You know, there will come a time when you don't. There will come a time when it is the final judgment. And no, you will not have time then to repent and quickly be in God's good favor. But in this hour, you still do repent and turn back to the Lord. Yes, you may have gotten yourself somewhere that you don't want to be. You may be in a situation and amidst many regrets and some of you perhaps, you know, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. There is no need for any of that. Don't let the enemy take you even farther away from the Lord, but simply humble yourself as you should have done prior. Humble yourselves and repent to Jesus Christ and return to him. Let him teach you how to sow seeds of faith for the next time that judgment comes you're not reaping this bitter harvest we all reap what we sow believers or not we all reap what we sow and it is a learning process for us all there is no shame in returning home the prodigal son humbled himself and realized i'd rather be a servant in my father's house than to be here in the pig pen and i encourage you to make the same decision you don't have to sit in that pit, that emotional pit. You don't have to sit where you are. You are not stuck. You are not bound to this world. Only you can bind yourself to it. But in repentance will you find freedom. And increasingly so. Repent and turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent. And he will show you the next step to take. You say, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck in this situation now. I don't know how to get out. Calm your mind. Repent. The Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. But all that you need to concern yourself with this time is going home. And you go home by repenting. It's kind of like Dorothy. She clicked her heels three times and was suddenly back home. Well, Oz wasn't really all it was cracked up to be, was it? No, this world never is. So repent in Jesus' name. And you will find that the angels rejoice and the Lord will open the door to the path that he meant for you to be on originally. Return home and do not wait another day.